the average rate of change of a function f of x over a closed interval a comma b is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. Given a function f of x equals to x squared minus 1, the average rate of change of the function over the closed interval 2 comma 6 is equal to f of 6 minus f of 2 divided by 6 minus 2. which is equal to 6 squared minus 1 minus 2 squared minus 1 divided by 4, which gives 35 minus 3 divided by 4, which is equal to 8. This means f of x increases 8 units for a unit increase in x. Over the closed interval 2, 6. The distance covered by a freely falling body is given by s of t equals to 16 t squared, where t is the time in seconds and s is the distance in feet. Find the average rate of change of distance or average velocity from t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 6 seconds. The average velocity v a v g from time t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 6 seconds is given by s of 6 minus s of 2 divided by 6 minus 2. s of 6 is obtained by plugging in t equals to 6 in the expression s of t equals to 16 t squared. And similarly s of 2 is obtained by plugging in 2 for t in 16 t squared. By taking 16 as a common factor we can write this as 16 times 6 squared minus 2 squared divided by 4, which is 16 times 32 divided by 4, that gives 128 feet per second. Find the instantaneous rate of change of the given function at x equals to 2. The instantaneous rate of change of f of x at x equals to a is given by the limit of f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h as h goes to 0. This is also known as derivative of the function f of x at x equals to a denoted by f prime of a. Since we want to find the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 2, f prime of 2 is equal to limit as h goes to 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. f of 2 plus h can be obtained by substituting 2 plus h in the place of x in the function, which gives 2 plus h squared minus 2 times 2 plus h and f of 2 is obtained by plugging in 2 in the function f of x which is 2 squared minus 4. Simplifying this expression and applying the limit as x approaches 0 we have limit 4 plus 4h plus h squared minus 4 minus 2h minus 0 from here divided by h as h goes to 0. Cancelling out negative 4 and 4 and simplifying we obtain the following. 
this is equal to the limit h goes to 0 of 4h plus h squared minus 2h divided by h. Simplifying the expression, we can write limit as h goes to 0 of 2h plus h squared divided by h. And taking h as a common factor, we can write this as limit as h goes to 0 of h times 2 plus h divided by h and cancelling out the common factor h. This gives the limit as h goes to 0 of 2 plus h equals to 2, which means the derivative of the function f of x at x equals to 2 is equal to 2, which means f of x increases at a rate of 2 units per unit increase in x at the point x equals to 2. The cost in hundreds of dollars to produce x thousand DVDs is given by the function c of x equals to 5x squared plus 200x plus 300. Find the marginal cost when the number of DVDs produced is x equals to 2. The marginal cost is the instantaneous rate of change of the cost at a given production point denoted by c prime of x. c prime of x is the derivative of c of x, which is equal to limit of c of x plus h minus c of x divided by h as h goes to 0. c of x plus h is obtained by plugging in x plus h in the expression 5x squared plus 200x plus 300. Minus c of x is the negative of c of x divided by h. Limit as h goes to 0. Expanding x plus h squared and multiplying by 5 we obtained 5x squared plus 10x h plus 5h squared plus 200 times x plus 200 times h plus 300 minus 5x squared minus 200x minus 300 divided by h cancelling out the positive and negative terms we have c prime of x equals to limit of 10xh plus 5h squared plus 200h divided by h as h goes to 0. Taking common factor h in the numerator, we obtain h times 10x plus 5h plus 200 divided by h cancelling out h. We have the limit as h goes to 0 of 10x plus 5h plus 200. which gives 10x plus 200. This is the derivative c prime of x. We want to find the derivative at x equals to 2, which means c prime of 2 is equal to 10 times 2 plus 200, which is equal to 20, which means after producing 2000 DVDs, the cost to produce 
another thousand dvds is is twenty two thousand 